Toro Magazine, welcome, uh, welcome back to one of my little segments, Do It Yourself. I've kind of missed you guys. I'm going to show you um, basically all the essentials that you need in your toolbox, in your house. To start off, we've, uh, we've put everything out here for you to see um, and, and basically you're going to take all these tools and do everything on your own and, and just have a blast doing it, okay? So we're going to start with um, you know, the first major uh, purchase which is going to be your cordless drill. So this thing will help you obviously drill holes. It's going to help you um, screw in things faster. You know, um, I, I mentioned before, I don't really care what size drill you get. Um, I've got 18 volts. It's going to you know, give you a little bit more power, but for your basic stuff, you can go 12 volt. You can do whatever you want. Again, no judgment passed on my behalf. So with your drill, you're going to want to make sure you have drill bits, okay? Go and get your all-in-one kit which will have all your sizes that you'll probably need for any little project you're going to do around your house. This goes up to, I believe, half inch and, uh, and all the way down to 1 16th. Next thing you want to do is make sure that you always have, with your drill and with your drill bit, a good set of plugs on hand. This is what you're going to use pre predominantly to hang all of your pictures and posters and frames and mirrors and all the heavy stuff. So you're going to have these little plastic plugs you're going to drill your hole, make sure these fit nice and tight, and then your screw goes in and you can hang whatever you want off of that, right? Another good tool to have in your toolbox is a roll of uh, painter's tape. This is going to be good when you want to mark something on the wall instead of putting pencils on your you know, newly fresh, freshly painted uh, walls. Put a piece of masking tape down, mark all your measurements, do your dot. We've got your hammer. Everybody needs a good hammer. Um, tapping your picture hooks in the wall or nail something into a wall, this is going to be one of your best friends. And also if you've nailed, you know, in the wrong spot, you've got a nice little hook to pull out your nails and, and do your thing after that. This is a little mini level, you know, just for editing purposes, we've got to keep it all on the table, but little level is great for, for one-off pictures. Make sure it's all nice and straight. Um, I do recommend getting a three-foot level, four-foot level, whatever you can uh, get and fit into your condo, your house. This is going to make sure everything doesn't look wonky so you know what you're doing. Um, you may want to get a small little set of your sockets and um, it's just going to make your assembly a lot better. Um, so you get you know, a small little pack, it's got some of your uh, sizes, pretty much most of your sizes for furniture and, um, and that's it. So you have that on hand, quick ratchet. It's going to make your life a lot more simple. Get a, uh, a you know a universal screwdriver. You put your bits in here. You can ratchet, Phillips, Flathead, Robertson. You want to get a nice collection of bits. So the next thing you're going to want is uh, an adjustable wrench of some kind. Um, this is a little mini one. Again, this is my in-house toolkit. I want to conserve space. I want to get everything into this one box. So I've got a little adjustable wrench. This is going to help you wrench stuff and <laughs> only have one little uh, tool to keep track of as opposed to your sockets where you have a, you know, a bunch of different uh, size uh, sockets. Um, so this is going to help you when you're wrenching um, get a little torque on those nuts. That sounded a little awkward. You're going to want a tape measure. Um, this tape measure is going to measure stuff. It's going to make you able to have your placement of your pictures on your walls. It's going to, um, you know, maybe uh, enhance your, your life and your ego in case, or, or the complete opposite. Whatever you want to do with this tape measure, that's up to you. This is for this purpose um, to measure things on your wall, right? Safety glasses, you know, I've mentioned before, you know, I'm not your mom. Um, I don't want to say it again, but, you know, your eyes are probably one of those things in life that don't grow back. And the one time you think you're doing an easy job, you're probably going to get a big splinter right through your eye socket and that's going to suck. Uh, a flashlight, um, I don't know, sometimes you find yourself in little wonky situations where you're reaching up or you're, you know, inside a, a cupboard of some kind and you're trying to see what the F you're doing. So that's when a flashlight um, comes into play and can possibly help out. You need a set of pliers. I would say, you know, get a good set of um, pliers to snip stuff, to grab stuff, to pull stuff, to twist stuff. 
Um, this is, believe it or not, going to be another one of your good friends. Um, you have your flathead and then you have your needle nose just to get into you know little iffy spots and uh, then you have your wire snips. So let's say we're tackling a task of hanging up a light fixture on the ceiling. You're going to need these to trim your wire. You're going to need these to twist you know wires together and then back on this side of the table you're going to need little morettes to uh, you know make sure that all the wires covered and, and not going to electrocute somebody down the road and possibly electrical tape. If you've ever touched a live electrical outlet um, or a wire that's not been shut off or something you know you get a little jolt and uh, it's probably not been the most fun experience in your life. So get one of these little testers, simple button, turns on. If you go to the outlet or the wire that you're going to be touching soon and it stays green, then that means it's not live and you can touch it with whatever body part you want to. This was Toolbox 101. This, the whole lesson today was to show you all the tools you need to have in your house to be, you know, a man of your own domain in your pad you know, to get, you know, maybe the girlfriend or the wifey off your back, maybe to stop bothering your buddies a little bit. Um, this is everything you need in your apartment, in your condo, in your house, for the most part, to do simple tasks. Um, again, I'm Damon. Um, I hope you learned maybe a few lessons here today. I'm going to be back, you know, to teach you the next one. Um, but until then, have a good one and, uh, you know, keep your eyes on the fingers and uh, safety goggles on the eyes and, and uh, go and rock it out. All right, catch you later.